Okay, here we are at the base of Senate Park, just beside the Capitol. This is what it looks like. Those buildings across the water, past the cute little ducks, are where FreedomWorks is, and Fox News, and a bunch of labor unions and lobbyists and other TV talk shows. ABC, ABC is over at the museum, which is more over that way. Uh, anyway, this is near where the Freedom Works group is having its April 15th tax protest in Washington, although there will be one elsewhere. Amazingly, you can't see the Capitol from here, although it's right there. Oh, you can see it through the trees. Um, I think it's kind of funny that here in the middle of all this you can't actually see it. Anyway, this is so pretty. All the bureaucrats. A lot of these people are tourists. A lot of them, you can see they have things around their necks. I do. They're actually uh, Congress staff who are napping in the grass at 1 o'clock. I'm sure it's a late lunch. Um, anyway, I think I'm going to make like a 10 minute video of this. It's going to be a little funky because I am holding an iPad with one hand, hoping it doesn't drop. And holding a bicycle with the other hand. Anyway. It's really pretty. This side has fewer people. So I think I'll go over to this side because I have a feeling some of the people will not appreciate being filmed. Especially the ones who are supposed to be at work. Which I'm feeling is about 60% of them. It's about 30% tourists and 10% perpetually unemployed DC residents. <coughs> Here's some little ducks. I think these are mallards. I think that's a male and female. It's a pair of ducks. The male gets all the pretty feathers. That's why they look like they're two different species, even though they're not. Which, of course, some people may think is true of lots of human beings. I see some people eating yogurt on a chair there. are disturbed that someone's filming them. Over there is Union Station and the old National Post Office. I think it's not actually a functioning post office anymore. We're having a resume writing job. They're supposed to be doing something else, but I'm just going to get there late. At least I was going to do something that I decided to do, and I guess I'm just going to get there late. Anyway, what does that say? Well, that's the Teamsters Union building. They have this massive, expensive building with great views since they look over here at the Capitol and all these monuments and water features and flowering trees. They're probably one of the places that Stossel was not allowed into to film the marble and gold in Lake Lobby. I'm missing listening to Rush, Rush Limbaugh while I do this because I've turned the sound off so I won't come on this video. Rush was amazingly disgusting as I was doing this. Some gay activist too is proposing that fertility treatments for gays, which I guess means insemination for lesbians, be covered under Obamacare or some kind of tax incentivized or subsidized medicine. And of course, although that is true that that is a tantalizing issue that people who don't believe in that are being forced to pay for it with their taxes. What Rush does not discuss is that regular fertility treatments have probably been covered for years under insurance that is in fact, in fact tax deductible. And gay people and barren people and all kinds of people who not make use of those fertility treatments are in fact paying for other people's fertility treatments. I actually <clears throat> ran into the black conservative uh, writer Star Parker, who is a critic of all things gay, several years ago at a Cato Institute 
luncheon where I was sitting beside her, and she is not an introvert, and neither really am I. And so we started talking to each other, didn't even tell each other our names, although I knew who she was. And she actually made a really, really witty crack about how infertility treatments were welfare of white ladies because so many white women wait until it's too late to become pregnant and then you I've had friends like this, tens of thousands of dollars worth of medical assistance to become pregnant. And it does come currently through everybody's insurance, so it does in fact impinge on everyone else. And uh, it is welfare for, for white ladies. But no one thinks of it that way. And what Rush doesn't realize is that our current system where everybody's medical care has been socialized for some time, the, uh, the fact that employer paid insurance somehow is a pre-tax payment, it's not part of what you pay income taxes on, means that until recently when only straight people would have been allowed to use utility technology to get pregnant or raise children. Recently, all that tax supporting fertility technology has been a tax imposed on gay people to pay for straight people. Just as the social security system has taxed gay people for decades to pay for survivor benefits for the surviving children and spouses of straight people, but not the surviving spouse and his or her children of a gay person because if it were married, it couldn't be. Anyway, there are all the pretty flowers and I guess I'll end this tape.